Hey everybody, welcome to our new home in Arviat, Nunavut. Today is Monday, August 23rd, and today is the first day of school. In this video, I hope to show you a little bit around town from our home and of course the school itself. So before we get to the video, I want to show you a map of town, give you an idea of where we live and where we'll be walking throughout the video. We are at 400A 8th Street, which is right here. In the video, we're going to be walking northward towards the Hudson Bay indicated on the map. As you'll see in the south of the map, there is an arrow indicating the airport. It's not too far off the map. It's about a five minute drive out to the airport to the center of town. And speaking of the center of town, which is right here, that is the school campus. There you have the elementary school, the middle school, the high school, and a daycare in between. So in the video, you're going to hear me mention the main street, which is on 3rd Avenue, indicated here. On this street, you will find a majority of the significant buildings in town. And in the video, a couple times, you'll see me at a dock. That dock is in the very north of town, indicated here on the map. Now here's the video. So, hello everybody. This is the first day of school and I figured since the sun is out and it's finally stopped raining, we will do a little video for you all. This here is our house that we're staying in. You'll see that it's uh, quite off the ground. I would say maybe four, four, five feet. For all the water that you'll uh, you'll see that accumulates as the ice and snow melts. Anyways, let's take a walk down here. You'll see mostly ATVs and snowmobiles as a means of vehicle. However, there are people that have actual vehicles here. And yes, they do have a school bus. So today is the first day of school, as I said. My wife now is uh, currently at the school. But you can vaguely see over those uh, green homes there with the yellow roof but we'll get there shortly so we live on 8th Street all the uh, all the roads here are essentially the the system is organized by um, 1 to 12 in the means of avenues that run east-west and streets that run north-south generally speaking So once you learn the system, it's pretty easy to navigate and know where, uh, where to go based off the address. There's like a little snow tank over there. There's a few of those in town. So as we're walking down the streets, I'm going to try to kind of... I'll preface this video here with, with a map so you guys have an idea of where I'm going throughout the video. But here we're walking towards the end of town. Um, let's see here. So north would be that way. So we are approaching kind of like the northeast corner of town here. And yes, uh, there are polar bears. And the 
they do venture into town mainly in the early morning very early morning and uh, late at night however yesterday we were actually all the way at the end there there's like a, a marina which we'll go to as well but we were there yesterday and one of the guys that do the bear patrol his name is leo he was telling us that um not too far far out of town here there is a polar bear mom with two cubs that were spotted so it's definitely no joke you do have to remain vigilant here so one of the things he recommended is that as you approach uh, say a cliff or something and you can't see what's on the other side you want to approach those kind of areas from the side so if there is anything at the edge of the cliff uh, you don't startle it or you don't approach it and then see it at the last minute when it's too late there's a little playground as you see I like to walk Yoshi here as um, there's not too many patches of grass in town that are not flooded with water so this is one of the spots here that's pretty nice to take in. So as I said, I'm at the edge of town here, so pretty much that's the Hudson Bay there, but this isn't the actual body of Hudson Bay. This is a little break off from the main bay. Um, so like I said, this is north, straight ahead. Hudson Bay, the actual body of water is uh, towards the east there. You'll see if the camera can pick it up. Where is it here? You'll see in the background there some crosses. That is the cemetery. Oh, and there are some geese uh, right there. Hey guys. There's quite a few geese that are uh, just kind of lounging at the outskirts of town. There's like a little pond there as well. So over there where the big shipping containers are in boxes, that's where the big boat comes in. I'm not sure how often it comes in, but it's not very often, maybe once or twice a year. Um, and then that's what's bringing the larger items cargo, vehicles, things like that. We are going to go back this way. So the wind is pretty strong, as, as you'll probably pick up in the mic. I did turn the mic on to the wind setting, so hopefully it's not too bad. And you can still hear my voice pretty uh, clearly. I do have a little uh, windshield on the mic, so that should help. This is probably my first time really testing this thing out. You'll see that nothing's paved here. It's all gravel and mud, dirt. They do level it out quite often. They just did that actually. Uh, a day or two ago just to avoid any uh, major potholes developing also as the winter approaches a lot of this mud and dirt will solidify and not be very uh, malleable so there I think the idea is to try to level it out before everything really freezes over kind of creating a nice flat surface for the winter they do plow the streets here, not all of them of course. The one that we're on now is one of the main streets, I think it is the main street, where you'll have your, um, believe it or not, within a town of 2,800 people, there are four churches, and I think they're all on the main street. 
as well as the big main store, which is called Northern. It's like the uh, the Walmart of North Canada. They kind of offer everything in store. It's like your one-stop shop thing. It's fairly recent. I think it came here a couple years ago. So um, the people in town really, I think most of them really enjoyed it. Gave them some more options, things that they can buy. The inventory here in stores is quite um, quite scarce, as you would imagine. So what we found is like if we go every few days, you'll see kind of things different. Um, so yeah, we don't like maybe eventually we'll get into a routine where we're doing once a week. But right now we're trying to learn the. Uh, which store offers what best and things like that. Because I think there's a total of three stores. And then a, a, a tiny convenience store, kind of like gas station stuff. But there's three main stores where you can buy food, some things for the house, one of which includes the Northern that I mentioned. And believe it or not, they do have the home hardware, which is all the way at the end of this street. So in case you're wondering, it takes probably 15, 20 minutes to walk from one end to the other. I just noticed they do have a sp speed limit sign there. <laughs> so there are the churches, or at least one of them. Behind the blue shipping container there. Fifteen minutes, Chantel gets out for lunch, so we're gonna try to meet up with her. Must say, everyone's very friendly here. I would say 95% of people will, on the way by, they'll, they'll nod or smile or wave or some sort of acknowledgement, which is nice. So the wind right now is very strong, so I'm curious how that's being picked up. That's kind of what we're looking for, side by side. Hopefully we can get one in the springtime. As winter approaches, those, those things won't be as usable as like a snowmobile. So I think right now the plan is to get a snowmobile. But as, um, as recreational vehicles were kind of in short supply in Ontario, they are as well here. So the store that, um, the northern store that sells all the recreational vehicles in town, they, they have barely anything right now. So there's another church and another church. Over there. Where is it? That guy there is a. You'll see some art on it as it focuses. That's a uh, teen community center. That right there, that white building with the red stripe is the co-op. So that's the first store that we visited in, in uh, town. They, they sell everything pretty much. Kind of like the Northern. But they're a co-op. So I will try to support them as much as I can.
That right there, the blue building, is a library. Beside the library, that interesting looking building there, is a uh, visitor center, which we have not visited yet. But I guess at this point, we're not really visitors. Eh, maybe we are, still. At what point do you not become a visitor? <laughs> There's uh, some guy doing the electrical work. Over there, Hudson Bay, you can see I believe that's building there where the red truck is. I believe that's some sort of mayor's office or something. I'm, I'm not sure. But it's some building of note, apparently. Now we're getting to the northern. Ten minutes. So believe it or not, well you're gonna have to believe it because I'm gonna show you right now, is we have a KFC in town. I'm gonna try to not film people just out of respect for them, but there you see KFC Tim Hortons. And then also, this is where they sell the ATVs and Skidoo's. There you go. KFC, Tim Hortons, and recreational vehicle store. So, just uh, in case you're wondering what the prices are here, it's quite volatile. So, anything that's considered junk food essentially is between two to three times the price that you would pay in Ontario. So for example, a Big Crunch from KFC, which probably runs five, six dollars in the GTA, I imagine, plus tax. Oh, don't, I gotta talk about the tax after. Um, so five, six dollar sandwich in GTA. It's uh, $11.50 here. And it doesn't really come with anything. It's just the bun, the chicken, and some sauce. Apparently there's uh, something with the lettuce. They don't have lettuce right now in town. But um, yeah, $12 sandwich. And it's not very good. But we tried it. Probably won't buy that very often. The co-op does sell burgers, which are quite uh, good, actually. So if any of you are watching this video that I have on Facebook, you'll, you'll notice that this is the... From the other night when I posted those pictures of the sunset, this is uh, the same spot. There's the boat. And I didn't know this, thanks to Keegan. But those are bear traps. I didn't. I didn't note the the the, the cage at the front. I thought they were uh, like reservoirs or something. But but yeah, no, they're definitely some sort of trap. Big. I could probably uh, fit in there with a few people. is the Elder Center. We call it a retirement home back in Ontario, but it's 
it's essentially where all the uh, the elders of the community would go. They can no longer really take care of themselves, so they have like a little facility here where they can watch over them. The community will, when they go out for a hunt, sometimes they'll bring you know some extra meat for them. Things like that where they can't obviously go themselves. It's getting quite warm actually, so I'm gonna turn off my As you see, there's water everywhere. Most of it is flooded as the things defrost. That was the thing that was uh, leveling out the roads earlier. As you can see, it's doing the same thing over there. In the background there you saw, I can't tell if that's the water or the sewage, but essentially there is no, uh, there's no pipes and sewage system here. So everything is above water. So the trucks come every day, every other day to refill your, um, to refill your water, to empty your sewage. And I believe also to provide some sort of fuel or gas for the, uh, electrical heating. But essentially everything is manual here. Nothing gets fed automatic from the, from the, the infrastructure. You have trucks going around periodically making sure everyone has what they need. So here we are at the school. As you can see, this is the parking lot. And it is mainly ATVs. Oh, and there's a lake right there. So if we're... Let's get our bearings here. So north would be that way. So to the south. Not too much to the south. We're, we're kind of in the center of, uh, of town here. Tell, owned by Bell, I believe, is uh, the company here that provides the internet and phone to everybody. Those are their satellite dishes. There's a couple more there. Phone reception is quite good, I must say. Uh, maybe twice a day you'll kind of cut out for a minute, but I mean, considering where we are, can't really complain. Those domes there you see are green greenhouses which i hope to get involved with soon apparently they haven't been used in a while covid kind of messed up a lot of things as it did everywhere that guy's just bombing it holy back end kind of lost it a bit <laughs> yeah so that guy was bombing it this guy's going normal speed So over there behind the domes, you'll have, uh, there's a baseball diamond actually. As well as a pretty big park, playground park, a hockey ring, or a hockey uh, rink. You see the white boards there in the background, let me just try to zoom in a bit. There's the hockey rink. There are the green homes, greenhouses. There's the baseball diamond. And there is a soccer, um, there's a soccer field with artificial turf as well as a basketball court. So they have pretty nice uh, facilities here. So yeah, now it's, now it's lunchtime. 
gonna cut this out as I wait. <laughs> Welcome to my school. This is J A H S or John Arnalujuak High School. I hope I said that right. I think I did. This is the education compound of Arziat. Over here we have the daycare, elementary school, and the middle school all together. So we can all work together, which is nice. So what are we doing for lunch? I think we're going to go get some burgers and fries at the co-op. Nice. Tundra takeout. I believe it's this way. Yeah. So I did a little tour of town. Yeah. I didn't go uh -huh. fully around town. I just went up the main street. Yeah. And to the northern. Yeah. And then around to here. Oh, so. you did a nice, you had a nice talk. So this is it's the daycare here, day. right? Yeah. The pink. Yep. Okay. And this is the middle school? Uh, no. I think the middle school is this one, but it also might be the So these two, be one of them is the middle school <laughs> and one of them is the elementary yeah. school. But it's essentially a campus, so everything is within... Yeah, Almost like a rock's throw. <laughs> and a playground, of course. So here we're going to the co-op, as I uh, mentioned earlier in the video. So they do have a little takeout place. Aside from the KFC, um, they do have some burgers there. So we're going to grab one. We're going to grab the caribou burger, which... I guess we'll ask them if there's actually caribou in it because the menu says it's beef, but I think it's a typo and I most likely there is actual caribou in it. So. Alright. We're going to order some food and we'll show you what that looks like in just a sec. So, we're back without the caribou burgers, unfortunately, as the store was closed. Um, were they closed Monday? We should have checked. Yeah. You took we'll a picture to of, didn't you? The yeah, hours? but it didn't say. No. It didn't There's Maggie. Oh, this one again. <laughs> she just some puppies, so she's a little defensive about her, her stuff. But I also think... There's the puppy there. Baby. Okay, girl, we're going. Don't worry. It's all yes. right. That's a protective mama right there. So we'll give her space. So we have about, what, 45 minutes? Yeah. Make some sandwiches. So that's what we're going to do. We bought some bread. Good, so just uh, on the on the topic of pricing, the bread was four dollars, which is what fifty cents off from what we pay. So yep. it's pretty comparable. The tomatoes we bought, which came with five. How much was it again? Like six. eight bucks? Six bucks? No, no, there were six tomatoes. How many? How how much was it though? I forget. I think it was like <laughs> around eight bucks. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so the tomatoes were a little pricey. How the much? Tomatoes were 486. 486. The, the, the bread was bread four bucks. But something so five bucks for tomatoes. How low the taxes are yes, that's what I forgot food. to mention. So Ontario tax currently is 13%. Here the taxes are 5%. So I bought a jacket yesterday, which was like. I think it was 165. It came to like 180 or something like that. So, uh, you definitely save some money on the tax front. Yeah. 
there's another one of those trucks that I was talking about. Either the sewage or the, the water, I'm not sure. And we're getting to our house now. So the side there is where they load the uh, those trucks, their hoses, to do what they gotta do. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll now leave you with a shot of our neighbor's dog, Star. Until next time.